Once vibrant and teeming with life, Thailand's coral reefs are now a desolate wasteland. It's never been this bleached before. All very white this year, says this local fisherman. Global warming has caused a slow boil of the world's oceans. The unusually warm water has stressed reefs beyond the limits of survival in the eastern Gulf of Thailand. I couldn't find a single healthy coral, says this marine biologist. The U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has warned of a fourth worldwide bleaching event, threatening fish and other marine life which depend on reefs and in turn the humans who depend on fish. If we have a large scale degradation of coral reefs continue like what we're seeing now, this quite literally threatens 25 percent of every living thing in the world's oceans. 62 countries have now reported bleaching events in the last year and a half, impacting nearly two thirds of the world's reefs. <laughs> last year, Florida experienced the largest bleaching event in its history. This year, water temperatures are already hotter than normal, even earlier in the year. It's warmer than it usually is on average right now. We'll see what the later summer brings and how many weeks it'll actually stay hot. Fearing another mass die-off, conservationists have been planning for the worst-case scenario for months as they work to protect the nurseries they use to grow and preserve corals. The big thing that we're considering is um, prepping to potentially evacuate corals if we have to. The impact on the world's oceans is already unprecedented. It's now a question of how much worse it will get. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.